Good morning from North Florida. Aaron's trying to get his, uh, his uh, laptop to charge over there. But this is my day two. Um, we're gonna go down the river. We just camped here at the Jenny Springs campground and uh, the ground was so really hard and uncomfortable. But I did sleep some. And, um, but the main thing I'm here for to do is go fishing. So um, we got our kayaks already ready to go from yesterday. We fished a little while yesterday and today we're gonna fish a lot longer and um, maybe a, hopefully a really fun trip. Well, here's the river. Got a cool little launch here. I think we're going in at Post Springs. Um, and we're gonna go downstream. That guy just put in and went upstream on a little trolling motor. Gonna hit downstream. Got it, got it. What is it? Oh, it's a little bass. Had, oh, it came off. Had a couple hits from it. All right, I went back. I'm just kind of just getting started here, I'm trying to figure out what lure to go to. I got a lot of confidence in this little yumdinger, so we'll go back and forth, change up lures, see what really gets them. Oh, I saw that one hit it. Nice. Same spot. Oh, we got a guad. Another guad. We got a, we got a swanee. All right. Look at the eyes on this thing. So here's my first swanee bass um, since two years ago, I think. And um, that's a small mouth of Florida. But look how beefy they are. That's He was 12. No, what I, no, I say 11 and a quarter. So that was a pretty good start. We are just getting in here and going, so. I was on the Yumdinger, hopefully get a few more fish there, but really cool, cool colors on that fish. There's one. That's a solid fish. Oh, it's a bigger. It's a bigger swanee bass. Ah, I threw my bait off. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah, he was in the current. That's a pretty one. He's not that much bigger, but let's see. Oh, I just scared off some fish right here. They're up here shallow on the bank. Ah! No! He went through the hole. I have no idea how big it was. If it's 14, it's like a trophy size. I uh, I took my um, pedal drive out because I'm, we're just going downstream and I forgot to bring the blank off piece. And then the fish actually jumps out and goes down it. So that's two on the Yumdinger. I got retie, scratched it up. There's a lot of rocks and stuff through here. And yeah, we get back to fishing. There's one. <laughs> That's a little large mouth. The young nigger's getting it done. We've been out here for 30 minutes, my third fish. Just throwing it by the bank, sinking it, drifting it. A little large mouth there. We're gonna pull out a big one here in a little bit though. There's one. Oh, it got me tangled up. No, he's off. He's free. Little large mouth. Just saying, I hadn't had a bite for a little bit. 
Little Gus smoked it. Solid. Ah, it's not that big. I was just in a tree right where I didn't want it to bite. A little large mouth. Bunch of these in here. Wait, is that a swanny bass? No, that's large mouth. All right, this is where the big one lays. This is where the beast lies, right around this tree. What? Did it, oh, maybe I should shut the... Yeah, I got him. Oh, wow. Is he big? No, he was wrapped around a tree. I guess I had my, my bale open. <laughs> I tried to set the hook. I still got him. He's a good swanee bass. No, no, no. They keep throwing my yum dingers off and I can't catch them. Well, I can't really put down the yum dinger. I just keep catching. I mean, these are kind of small, but this this lot of that's in here, and I'm getting bites. So that's the main thing. Keep on catching fish. Pretty swanny bass. I don't even know if I have a picture of a swanny bass on my phone. All right, these guys are kind of cool. Definitely like a because it's it's not a bass that's everywhere. It's only around this area. Here we go. It's a little one, but I think it's a swanny bass. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice swanny bass. He came out from under a log. Sorry about this camera angle, but my little mount broke. Another chunky swanny bass. Probably a 10 inch one, but they're so fat. And like wide body. Well, I'll take that. Or I, I can uh, like kind of barely pop them out. All right, so uh, we are coming up on one of the main springs. So now let's get some underwater footage and just kind of look around and look underwater. You can see so far, you can see fish way out. So let's check it out. All right, lunchtime. We're probably halfway through this trip. We went and got sandwiches last night when we got pizza to bring with us. So this is yours. You've taken your bites off of it. There's a lot of people here today. That's for sure. A lot of different than yesterday. We got the. We're gonna next time have to come just on weekdays. We got Mountain Dew, chips, 
And Fritos. I yeah, really did pick Friday and Saturday. But I didn't think about it. It was the first days I had off. Uh, yeah. All right, it was round two, second half of the trip. Ate lunch, and it's backwards hat, John. And that means serious fishing. No more playing around. Get him. Yep, there we go. Stump nogger. I want to catch some different species, spotted sunfish. It's definitely rebel crawl time because I want to see what all I can get out of here. First species caught on it was a stump knocker, a spotted sunfish. We've kind of been definitely bass fishing a lot and I want to see what else we can get. Hopefully the sound of my camera is working too. Ow! Ow! Stump knocker. Fish number two, a red breast. That was about a minute after I caught the stump nugger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's the biggest bass I've caught in the trip. I knew I should have went to the uh, teeny R. I kept waiting, finally did, it paid off. Well, I knew I should have went to the uh, Rebel Crawl. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think so. This is a large mouth. A uh, large mouth was right in the current, right off the tree there. There he is. There's a Sewanee. I'm actually kind of working this crawl pretty slow things are so pretty they're so cool like just the way they're shaped what is that one is that a chill bass man turtles everywhere no little shelly I think we're about to go, uh, not shoal bass, why did I say shoal bass? Swanee bass, swanee bass. I think we're about to go down some shoals, rafts over there. Oh, we got some rapids, let me. Oh, I got a bass. A good shoal bass, I mean a uh, good swanee bass, right for the rapids, of course. And maybe it's a large mouth. Let me get him off quick, so I can go down here. Good large mouth. Bunch of waves on the jet ski right before I go down this 
rapids right here. Thank you very much. Almost starting to feel like home in one of my mountain streams. I keep saying shoal bass. Oh. <laughs> I said like I just caught one. I kept calling it a shoal bass. Like it's not a shoal bass. I mean, some places this river is really fast flowing, like in this little narrow channel. It floats pushing through here, then it'll, it'll spread out. You know, have these big old wide areas. But this has really been a really fun river to fish on, and there's just uh, there's a lot of it's different species that live in here. I thought we might find some more fish. I've caught four on this lure. Um, I thought maybe some other stuff, like like just maybe, I don't know, a crappie or a bowfin or a pickerel or something like that might hit. I'm not sure if they'll hit this lure or not, but it's been a pretty good little trip. Yeah. That's a solid swanny bass right there. Boom, just another one. Another 10 inch. Another 10 inch awesome little bass. Huh? huh? Water's cold. Yeah, it's a little cool. Oh yeah. That's a nice bass. Yeah, swanee bass. Oop. And there goes that one. This lure is really burning out. Another swan bass. Oh, fat one too. Goodness, they are thumping this thing. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a big swanny bass. Oh, they are crushing this crawl. Man, that's pretty. That guy just thumped it. Oh, that was 13 inches. 13 inch swanny bass.
Uh, mostly small ones, but. They were hammering that crawl. But I, I'll switch that crawl and didn't switch back. Well, hi guys, I finally got around to editing this video. And um, it was an awesome day, but at the end of this trip, I was so tired. We kayaked seven hours, I think, maybe eight, because we spent time exploring the springs as you kayak down the Santa Fe River. Um, I can't remember how many miles it was, but it was a it was a full day. I had planned to make two videos out of it, and I was like, let me just put it all together. And I uh, cut a few fish out of there, a few small ones. But the second half of the trip, when I switched to the Rebel Crawl, I definitely caught more of the um, Suwannee bass and that's that rebel crawl is a lure that I like to use for smallmouth and stuff and but I've been told by two or three people to use it for the Suwannee bass and it works really good in that river and that type of water it worked actually way better than I thought it would um, Aaron caught his biggest Suwannee bass on a top water earlier that day but most of the day uh, the rest of the day he didn't catch as much when I switched to the rebel crawl I caught my biggest largemouth and I caught some stump knocker, red breast, and then I caught my biggest swanee bass and the most swanee bass that I'd caught out of the trip. So it definitely works for that. Uh, that lure definitely works in that um, river and in those um, that water like that. So if you're going for the swanee bass, they will hit you know any kind of lure like um, that, like normal bass lures, pretty much. But that that rebel crawl really gets them out of there for some reason. They were really keyed in on it. Thanks for watching.